How is it going everyone? This is the brand new 2024 Ibanez AZ released for this year and this is my brand new song called Beavers in Space and if you like this song please remember to subscribe to my channel and of course follow my Spotify page because full song will be released on Spotify soon. Let's go! If you like the song, please remember that Beavers in Space single in its full version will be available on all streaming platforms, including Spotify, within four weeks. And this was just a half of the song, you know, in its, let's say, pre-mastered version. And I would really appreciate your help by following or, you know, pre-saving the, uh, the song on the Spotify playlist. So do whatever you can. Please help me put this song on the official Spotify playlist. Thank you. Anyways, short disclaimer, I got this guitar from Ibanez uh, for the test purposes, uh, but I'm always giving you the honest opinions, so I would like to uh, mention all the flaws and all the positive things that I found after three weeks of playing, because I received it before the uh, official release on December, and you know, three weeks is more than enough to get familiar with all the advantages and disadvantages of the instrument, especially uh, if you are writing and recording the songs like I did. So this model is called AZ241PQMDOB, for f**k's sake. Okay, so always the toughest part of Ibanez reviews are getting familiar with all those f**king codes. AZ24P1QMDOB. DOB stands for Deep Ocean Blonde. So this pretty sick kind of um, blue burst finish. From all the released guitar for 2024, this AZ looks really uh, amazing. At first I thought that I will have the orange one and I was kind of skeptical about it because I, it, it looked terrible on the images, but fortunately I got this blue one. We got the American basswood type of body, a quilted maple top over here, we got the roasted maple neck, with a roasted maple fretboard and it looks amazing because um, those two color tones are you know blended with each other so you have something like an invisible line of fretboard connecting with the neck and it's you know it really gives some sort of kind of feeling of unity over here like this is a one piece of wood and of course it's not but it looks amazing this is the same uh, tone of color on the fretboard and the neck so it looks really awesome we got a Goro locking tuners made in Japan, no problems after three weeks of using. We got the Goro T5002 
floating bridge. No problems with that. I think that it's really durable. I got a, a lot of problems with sweating of my palm and I'm kind of always scratching the surface of all the metal and chrome th finishes on guitars, but after three weeks uh, I didn't encounter this problem on the, on the floating bridge, but I encountered this problem on the surface of my Seymour Duncan Hyperion. Later about that. Uh, the only problems I have is that I believe that it's a little bit too sensitive. You can adjust it, but at the first, let's say, the first impression is that it's really extremely sensitive to any uh, touches, so if you are playing and uh, you want to have your hands or like your fingers over there, you will probably uh, be, be constantly out-tuning your guitar. So this is, uh, I'm not sure, maybe it's, it's easy to correct, I'm not an expert when it comes to the floating bridges, but uh, I got a Floyd Rose bridge and, you know, it's not a case in the Floyd Rose bridge, and it is the case over here, but, you know, nobody uh, is telling you that you need to get your hands all the time on the or the floating bar, right? Like with all floating bars, and this is really annoying, this thing is squeaking. Of course, in the manual, they say that if it is squeaking, then you should, you know, use some kind of oil to get it rid of, but, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying. But it's the same situation in the Floyd Rose, especially in mine. This guitar is 25.5 inch scale, and it has 22 frets instead of 24. I think that this is more than enough, and the older I am, the more I understand the importance of 22 frets instead of 24, but of course that's personal. This is the bolt on joint neck, so it's really easy to access over here to those 22 frets. So I believe that 25.5 in scale paired with 22 uh, frets is a pretty good solution, but I'm not a big shredder, so I don't you know, I don't need those two additional frets to get the second octave, right? But if that's important for you, keep that in mind. The tremolo system is equipped with three uh, separate uh, springs, and those springs comes with the rubber silencers, so this is kind of cool because you don't have this additional noises, they are a little bit muted. But of course, if you want to make sure, you can always put something, you know, like a foam over there underneath those, um, those springs, and of course you get those Let's say inspection holes over here if you want to take a look and see what the hell is going on while you are out of tune, maybe. I don't know, but this is this is kind of cool. So this model is equipped with the Hyperion set. This is the Seymour Duncan uh, customly made pickups for the AZ series of Ibanez. Uh, you cannot buy those pickups uh, from the Seymour Duncan web store, so it is like OEM kind of pickups for the Ibanez guitars and they are paired with the Dyna 9 mix system, which allows you to give to get nine different combinations out of those pickups. And I played with the double humbucker version of the Hyperion set, and now playing with this two singles and one humbucker, I definitely uh, encourage you to try this configuration, because the single single humbucker configuration is way better than those two humbuckers. Uh, in my opinion, of course, this is my personal opinion, but this allows you to get more interesting variation, especially with using the Dyna 9 Mix system. Okay, so we got the Bogren Digital Sub Zero. This is the MLC uh, plugin. Uh, you can get those cheaper using my affiliate codes or the links and all the information about the discounts are in the description below. Let's go, let's play a bit. This is the humbucker, the bridge position, so let's riff. So those pickups are not as aggressive as you might think. I think that the Hyperion set, especially this SSH uh, configuration, is tend to be 
let's say universal and universal means usually that it should be good for rock and let's say soft kind of metals do not expect any aggressive type of trebles the output gain is let's say above the average but still it's not like it's a metal pickup Especially like those single configuration. Let's say now, now this is the neck pickup without the alter. They're really dynamic. I think that you know it emphasizes your way of playing. Now, now let's do it with the alter switch on. might be not hearable on those particular presets and you know on the video but definitely you will feel it while playing I think that this on the neck one is the most noticeable one <laughs> guitar comes with a soft gig bag which you know allows you to transport your guitar safely but let's say it's moderately safe for uh, more inconvenient and unpleasant transportation. I definitely miss those times when premium guitars of Ibanez were equipped with uh, additional hard slash soft cases kind of uh, butted solutions. They were pretty awesome and they were lightweight and they offered a little more safety for the transportation purposes. Very important thing about those snacks. This is the AZ Oval C type of profile. And if you are looking for this legendary comfortability and you know thickness of the Ibanez, this is not it. This is not the model you are looking for. If you are looking for this, you know, really comfortable and fast type of necks, go for the Prestige and go for the RG series because the AZ got this oval C neck which is kind of thick and it's more like an LTD, I don't know, but it's really thick and, you know, for me it wasn't really an issue, but the difference between my Prestige and this AZ Oval kind of profile is like heaven and hell. It's definitely noticeable and if you are looking for this legendary Ibanez comfortability, then definitely try this guitar before buying because you may be disappointed. I really need to point that out because I was kind of surprised when I touched it for the first time, I was like, what the hell is that? When it comes to durability after three weeks of playing, those Seymour Duncan humbucker uh, covers are already, let's say, suffered from the sweat of my palm. This is a little bit disappointing, but you know, the Goto uh, floating tremolo is still in perfect condition, but you can definitely see that I that I played this guitar. I don't know if you can see this on this close-up look but definitely after three weeks you can see that the paint is going away in this area where I put my hand all right so closing thoughts after three weeks of playing and recording one full song with it uh, I think that I you know I've seen enough and I played enough and uh, to give you an honest opinion I think that this guitar is 
very good, but the price point is a little bit high. And I, I will be completely honest with you that if the price would be 300 euros less, then this is the better offer. Price point of these premium guitars right now are a little bit higher than my Prestige that I bought three years ago with the full case made in Japan and you know with all this amazing additions, add-ons that you get for buying the Ibanez Prestige series. At this price point now in 2024, I know that the price has gone higher and stuff like that, but still, at this price tag, you got the premium from the Indonesia and you know, in my case, everything is okay and I don't encounter any flaws like quality check f ups. But still, this is the Indonesian manufactory, so I would definitely recommend to go to your local shop and check the particular model that you're about to buy before purchasing to avoid any kind of f**k-ups in the quality check and, you know, disappointments. So still, I decided to repurchase this guitar from Ibanez after this demo because I find that uh, this is really interesting add-on to my collection and recently I sold about four or five guitars already so I got some space now for the new instruments and this one is uh, pretty inspiring. Uh, this is my favorite color tone, my favorite color scheme, my favorite blue, let's say, color tone and it offers me sounds that I couldn't get from the um, double humbucker configurated guitars. So this is a little bit expensive, but in the other case, um, I'm choosing my instruments based on the inspiration. If it hits some kind of, let's say, new areas of musicality in me, then I'm definitely considering buying this particular instrument and uh, we got this situation with this AZ and I wrote this song that you heard in the very beginning from scratch using this guitar and I was about to make the demo and it turned out into the full song. So this is pretty inspiring, right? So please remember to leave the thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Also the full song that you heard in the very beginning will be soon on streaming platforms. Cultifact, Spotify, Bandcamp, everywhere. All the links are in the description below. Soon I will have another videos for you and the giveaway of Lani Ironheart plugin. So stay with me, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.